up you guys welcome back to another episode i am sam and i'm taylor today we have a really cool fun little topic we're doing 10 reasons to get into exercising build a workout routine that have nothing to do with getting skinny with losing weight with seeing like physical changes in your body yeah i'm excited to go into this because obviously i feel like everyone and their freaking mother when they're starting working out does it for looks but there's so many great benefits outside of that so Mm -hmm. we'll dive into it yeah and it's like what keeps you going when you're not making maybe the looks progress you want to yeah there's other reasons to keep going so definitely stay tuned and listen into that um way down the line i feel like the other day i think our episode started like 50 minutes in it was like an hour and a half episode Dude, yeah. I mean, I love the fucking catch up so much. Like, especially when we haven't seen each other for a while and we are mic'd up talking because it's like, oh shit. Like, yeah. this is real authentic shit that we have not talked about in a week together. Well, even last weekend and this weekend coming up, we have like separate plans. Yeah, we which, do. Which, like, separate plans was never something we ever had. I ever. Know. And it's like kind of fun because then, like, the other day, even if it was like Sunday, I was like, oh my God, so like, Tell me about your weekend. Yeah, like, like I haven't it's seen like you. Fun. What did you like do it's this fun. weekend? It's fun to talk. It like makes it a little bit more exciting. To yeah. Be like, what did you do? Like, no, tell I me agree. the tea. Like, tell me the news. Um, yeah, yeah. So Friday, what did I do on Friday? Um, I had a very chill week during the week. I didn't have much to do. I got brow lamination and lash lift last week, uh, so that was like really good for me because. I don't know. I feel like I have my summer glow going on right now. Like, skin is tan. Like, I'm breaking out a little bit just because I got my period, but fuck that. Um, but I knew, I was like, you know what? This is perfect timing. Lash lift, brow lamination, full send. And today I'm wearing makeup, but, like, my makeup during the week has not been, like, foundation, concealer, mm-hmm. barely any mascara. I'm just putting, like, a little bit on because I want my dar- lashes to be darker. Darker. Because I didn't get a lash um, tint. I just got a lift. But I was like... It just feels great. Yeah, I love it. I booked for my next facial. I added a brow lamination to it. Yeah, because my eyebrows are very, very coarse and hard to brush. They're so thick and hard to gel. Like on my own, they really don't like to move right because mm-hmm. they're so thick. And I was like, I don't know. I kind of just want you to do it because she does it. I was like, yeah. can I add that? She was like, yeah, come in earlier. Like we'll do that too. Fuck I was yeah. like, yeah, because I hate doing it myself. Like, it's so hard. I'm going to plug my them. my girl Meg because she's fucking awesome. And one thing, too, like, you can probably even say this, too, with, um, what's her name? Jackie. Jackie. With going to them, was like, when I go to appointments, like, I need someone that I can vibe with. Because if I'm sitting there for an hour, hour and a half, and I don't speak, like, I'm going to go stir crazy. Yeah, or like, when I need you're someone s- I can vibe with. Or when you're speaking, and it's just monotone. Like, just yeah, weird. Yeah, just weird. Like, like, I don't really want to share my life with you. Yeah. So anyways, um, my girl Meg, you can go find her on Instagram. Um, her name is Meg Coleman. And I, she's in my following. So if you just go to my following and type in Meg Coleman, she'll pop up. She does makeup art. So she does like wedding makeup. She's fucking fire with that shit. Uh, maybe one day I'll have her glam, glam me up. But um, she does brow laminations, lash lifts, all, all the goodies. And she does it from home. So like you can just go to her apartment. Feels nice and cozy. You vibe with her. She got a great dog. So I had to plug it. Yeah, and I um if you I've gotten a few questions about it is like what I'm doing for my skin. My skin right now is like so nice, especially because like you said with the tan. Yeah, a tan will just it really just does it. Do it to I need yeah. to, okay. Speaking of that, I realized like I need to go travel more like to warm weather in the winter because like I get like seasonal depression. It is, and like considering I have like a full on home in Miami. Yeah, what is stopping? What the me? fuck? Why am what I not is, coming with you for Thanksgiving? What is what is stopping me from like? going a week at home i don't pay to go there yeah you know what? i'm just coming with you next time put I me wanna, in the suitcase well i actually want to stay home um for quite a bit around the holidays because there's gonna be new babies Ooh, so like i want to go home for yeah. like my sister's gonna have her baby by then yeah so and like living this far like i want to go home for like a while because mm-hmm. like the kid's not gonna know me and i want him to have a connection with me from the day i want him to to know me as his aunt so i'm gonna go home for quite a bit i think for thanksgiving last year i didn't go at all but i think i want to go for like quite some time yeah um but anyways that's so yeah that was so unrelated i mean in case anyone's thinking about our thanksgiving travels no but i agree being in the sun like it's like like, why am i not going on like a long weekend vacation down to like somewhere warm yeah like doesn't have to be crazy we and I know, guys, we are in Texas, but, like, I'm talking, like, I want to be on a beach, ass in the sand, in the middle of the winter, not... It, 
yeah this is the first year first two years i've had like a winter where like it's like literally cold and i get pale yeah no it's not fun it's That's awful why i moved even more south <laughs> than i it's originally terrible but but mm-hmm. yeah we have so much fun like just being out in the sun and like the warmth sweating our ass off it's over 100 degrees every day and we work out outside and it's it's tough out here okay i Caustic. only work out four days a week right now and i think i'm gonna keep it four days a week but like i've been loving it it's it's nice it I, makes me enjoy going to the gym for those i four feel days. like i'm working out for a different reason now like i'll do like one movement for strength but like and this is honestly just me, me being lazy. So, like, I fully understand that because I know people train hard as fuck in that 100 degrees. And, like, this is just me being lazy. I just, like, don't have it in me to do, like, so much stuff for strength. You know why? Setting it up. Yeah. I hip thrusted with a dumbbell yesterday because you're telling me in the sun I'm going to load. But also, too. Like, 300 pounds on a hip thrust in the blazing in this heat? the equipment at least a lot of the equipment that i need to use for like compounds like that like hip thrust and stuff that's all in the sun so the it gets hot as hot h- like yeah. you touch the machine it's like ow burn i leaned Seven against the bench and i was like ah yeah <laughs> so no. but that's the main thing for me if i had this is why i think um i'm gonna start working out with, like my boyfriend every single day i need someone to fucking do it for me like, I genuinely was like, I know I have it in me to push, like, 300 pounds on a hip thrust right now, but I really don't have it in me to, like, walk the bar over somewhere and walk the plates over. No, like, it's too hot. But and I was also it, the thinking about it. the machine was um, taken, too. Yeah. They also got rid of that other hip thrust machine. Remember the other one that you see outside? I loved me too. that hip thrust machine. And I was machine. thinking about that when I went up to you the other day at the gym. I was like, oh, someone's using, the hip, like, the machine. Like, I have nothing to use. Like, is there another abductor? No, there's nothing. And I was thinking about it. I was like... That old hip thrust machine we used to have. I used to use that every single glute day. Yeah, I don't like the new one. I don't either. It gets, it's like doable. It gets the job done, but it doesn't hit the same. No. The other one, that one would kill my fucking glutes yeah. like no other. Yeah. Oh. You know what? I'm going to look on Facebook Marketplace for the same one, buy it myself and leave it in there. Yeah, no, literally. <laughs> I'm literally going to like. I mean, we have donated equipment to lift before. Literally. <laughs> Danielle's going to be like, where did we get that? I'm going to be like, I I put it there. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, like that bar. I wanted it. There we, like, we worked with Titan Fitness um, last year, guys, when we lived in our uh, like small-ass apartment. So we got um, a bench. A bench, a box, like a big like box that you jump up and down on. Um, I got like a Bulgarian yeah, split, split squat, squat thing. Like, thingy. So we just gave it all to lift because we're like, we're in an apartment. We don't need this. No. <laughs> if we had an at-home gym, maybe I'd keep it, but. Yeah. No, I'm literally going to, like, search for the marketplace and put my own, like, hit this yeah. machine in there. I would kill for another one. So, yeah, that's been, like, that's the only thing that really, really sucks about um, the heat for me is setting things up. If I had a personal assistant to set everything up for me, I'd be way, way more inclined. But I feel like I'm working out, like, it's kind of just endurance. And I'm kind of just, like, me maintaining too. my physique. And I have my, like couple goals um but for the most part the fact that i get something done in that weather is a a win for me yeah like last wednesday it hit a feels like 118 and that's the record high all time in austin texas yeah like it's record hot. breaking we just lived through that it's hot Crazy. and they even have signs like what to do if you're having a heat stroke yeah like a heat stroke versus like heat exhaustion mm-hmm. because it's 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 dangerous yeah like it's not anything to really joke about like you need to drink water you need that's why i'm like chugging electrolytes all the time yeah it's it's tough exactly and another thing that's kind of like related to like fitness and wellness that i've been doing is chirotherapy slash like the red light therapy i've gone like three times now and i need to start going because i've been doing it so right now i'm gonna be completely transparent and honest with you guys i'm working with restore but we haven't started like my like partnership with them because they want me to try out Uh, a bunch of the stuff and I was like, okay, so I'll try out the stuff. Yeah. And I've been doing the Cairo red light thing. And guys, the like natural energy and the boost and like the endorphins that I just get from it for the rest of the day after I do it is insane. So unfortunately, the one that I'm working with is like 25 minutes south of me. But we have one literally like right down the street from where I live. So they were like, hopefully after we do this like little like test trial with you, like we can switch it so you can go to the other location. Because if I can go to the other location oh, that's literally yeah. right down the street. I will be going to do the red light Cairo four times a week because they, they recommend they're like, you better do it like three times a week. And I'm like, 
getting all the way over to like South Lamar. Three I times have a them week in my DMs that I never answer. Is so hard. Yeah. This is from last year. Um, which location? South Lamar. South Lamar. Yeah. But so there was another company I was talking with. It was called something different, but same, same vibe, same vibe of a place. Yeah. And like, I'm just the worst and don't go. Yeah, do but this. the cool thing about Restore, um, which, like, this is not paid at all because like I'm not working with them yet, but um maybe down the road I will be, is that it's like a membership thing. So you yes. can get a membership and you can go as many times as you want to use any of the Yo. treatments. So they got like the pressure bags, they got a sauna, they got red light, Cairo, they got massages, they got IV. Well, you have to pay for the IVs. You have to pay for like the IV product, but you don't have to like pay for the service. The service. Yeah. So I don't know. It's it just pretty fucking cool. Yeah, and it is cool. I don't work with them. I honestly may get a membership because of how beneficial I feel like the Cairo red light thing has been for me. Yeah. So I need to answer well. them. Yeah. I need to answer them because there was like literally a company I was going to do it too and I just like yeah. really never went. So that's been another little cool wellnessy health thing that I've been doing. Yeah. I like it a lot. Um, And then other than that, my caffeine cleanse is over. I ended that last week. I don't really feel like I need caffeine day to day to be honest, but I just do love the taste of it and I love the little extra boost it does give me. It does crack me out way more now. Um, which is good. I went three weeks without um, caffeine. So, yeah, I'm going to definitely do it every three months, I think. Because I got through it no problem. There was, like, Sick. literally, there was no pro or no cons to my caffeine cleanse whatsoever. Sick. Yeah. I am starting, I'm getting an aura ring, which is so beyond awesome. They're actually, like, gifting me one, which is, like insanely sick i might still have to pay for like the membership i don't know because you have to pay like yearly to like use it like a mm -hmm. like a whoop yeah um but the ring itself is like 500 bucks so this is like the biggest like fucking blessing because you guys know i was doing natural cycles y'all i have not remembered to put that thermometer in my mouth for days because you have to like wake up at the same time and if you l it's difficult to wake up and like do it right away and like put it in your phone it's hard to remember to do and if you wake up different times it messes it up it's not the most convenient but you can do it with your aura ring. So I would say it's worth it to do if you have a ring or another type. I don't know if any other type of tracker can take your temperature and do it for you. But that will be like insanely better. Like, yeah, game changer if the ring can do it. Yeah. Because the thermometer is a bitch. And like sometimes if I sleep with my boyfriends, I don't bring it. It's It's just really hard to do the thermometer thing. It's like really just not that like practical but connecting it to the ring i think is gonna be mm -hmm. like game changer so i'm really excited about that and i'm really excited to look more so at like my recovery and stuff because my goal right now is to get my period to be regular because i don't like that it's not regular and i want it to be like great and i don't want my phases to hit me as fucking hard like i feel like obviously you're still gonna feel them but i feel like how low i get in like the lower ones like i could maybe like balance out yeah. and not be so roller coaster of like instead of being like i'm on like a high like right now i'm on a high and then it's like in two weeks i don't want to be like in the depths of hell yeah i'd rather just like have it be like a little roller coaster so i'm like been taking a lot of vitamins and i really want to try cycle syncing my workouts more in the sense that like in my like luteal phase like after i ovulate like i will be like lifting less mm -hmm. like i just I don't want to force myself. I'm already like not lifting like a lot anyway. Yeah. As is, you're lifting more than me week yeah. to week, so it's like I personally don't feel that, but I definitely think it would help. I like just want to do a little bit less, and then I'm also taking advantage of like right now when I feel great and I have more energy, like going to dance twice a week. Like I always teach once, but I have more energy like going twice, mm -hmm. and then it's like in those weeks like not going, like cutting back on yeah. the cardio. Um just doing like different stuff like i'm fine with my movement for the day like rolling out my yoga mat on the balcony and like yeah following a youtube video because like i used to work out like that in covid and it did make me feel so good before i started lifting weights and i just don't don't want to like stress my body out you should try the seat cycling too might as well yeah maybe yeah I've been, i like, feel like i'm gonna do like one like yeah. um like I want to know what is the thing that worked kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Like, rather than being like, I have no idea if it was the seeds, the workout, the vitamins. Mm -hmm. I'd rather be like, okay, I did the vitamins and cut back on my training. Did it work? Yeah. Okay, I did this. Did it work? Yeah, because I did thing. the 
I did well. I cut back a lot on my workouts, and but that was more of like I kind of had to force myself to. Yeah, you got surgery because I got surgery. But at the time when I did like in January, and then I got my first period, it was the workouts because I obviously had to, and then I did the vitamins, and I also did the seed cycling. So those like three things I feel yeah. like. Yeah, because I also know like I'm very lean right now. Yeah, and all those things that people you know they always ask like, did you ever lose your period working out? And I know I eat a lot, but I am very lean right now, and I was always on birth control, so I never like lost a yeah. period. But like. Maybe, Maybe it is did, to the yeah. point that, like, my period isn't, like, as regular or, yeah. like, I don't want to, like, lose my period. I don't know. I just want to, like, make sure that's all in check. And then when I'm in my low phases and I have bad workouts and I'm not in the right mindset, I get even more down on myself. So it's, like, why well, put myself in the position to go to the gym when I'm not feeling it, have a bad workout, be pissed at myself that I didn't want to be there when I could just, like, do, like, yoga and an ab workout on my balcony and exactly like, and get on mm-hmm. and be like that was good yeah it's like crazy like speaking the way we do now about the gym compared to like two years ago is like so insane oh my god i would have like cried oh my if god I had you're to telling me to work off. out less if i was like a week out of the month i'm only gonna lift twice a week i would have been like you are gonna lose so everything. much thing you're gonna get fat and you're gonna literally be now you can't awful. have any sweet treat during the no week. carbs like and now i'm like no it'll like just make me feel better yeah like literally so hopefully that's a little bit of a call out to anyone listening right now love ya but um yeah should we get into the weekend yes um so yeah that was everything we do to be healthy and amazing and uh, here's everything we do to Dude, offset wait, here's on. everything we do to offset someone, every single thing we do <laughs> someone tagged me in a tiktok and it was some girl she was like all these bitches be acting feral as fuck on the weekend like getting fucked up but then they go oh yeah but then monday to friday like i'm like a wellness queen and then they say that they're drinking green juice and going on hot girl walks and like someone tagged us i was like you guys i'm like uh literally us but that's yeah fine. <laughs> but it's also like it's me for right now yeah it's me until i'm 25 yeah i'm not saying like for the rest of my life like every weekend is a bender like i'm just let me be in my early 20s this summer is literally my 2016 summer yeah and also let it be summer yeah y'all like this will not like this is gonna take a back it's already it's literally not even july and i'm already me too dead like like the (laughs) the amount of shit we have planned i'm dead literally and then the other day someone said something like oh should we go to this i forgot what it was i don't know we get sent so many things that couldn't even tell you it was the tubing yeah 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 and someone was like well it's just something to do and i was like honestly we have i don't i don't we don't have another weekend bro i don't need anything else to do like they're like it's something to do on a sunday i'm like i don't want it yeah i don't want something to do on a sunday we've been like just for the love of god yeah i don't want to (laughs) go friday saturdays we are booked and busy and then sundays we are chilling we are all getting hung over brunch and we are regrouping for the next weekend like someone being like do you want to do this i'm like oh god another (laughs) <laughs> Which is like the biggest blessing to yeah, have I know. so much fun. But yeah, like give me my early 20s. And Dude, like I'm having so much fun. I clock is going to hit 25, which is crazy because you're turning. Yeah, 25. stop. Don't say that. But when my clock hits 25, <laughs> I'm done with this shit. Like I'm literally, literally 25 my in two 25th weeks. birthday. I will rage. And the next day. That's it. Yeah, maybe. Maybe <laughs> I'll do that. Who knows? And then you'll be like 28 and we'll. No, dude, because I got my my boobs this year. I feel like I'm like 21. That's how I'm acting. It's like you just hit puberty. I know, literally. Like, <laughs> oh my god, I'm 21 now. <laughs> Got boobs. Yeah. But think about it. Like, I'm gonna have to stop earlier, anyways, because all of you will be older. Yeah. So, like, probably like less people will want to do things. So. Yeah. But yeah. Anyways, the weekend. My Friday, I went paddle boarding, which is like weird for a Friday, but it was very chill. Um, I wasn't with like people that I like. It wasn't, like, the most, like, enjoyable circumstance for me. So Explain further. I would love to hear why. You would love to hear yeah, why? Yeah, I haven't heard this before. Should I tell them? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck yes. Bro, stop restricting shit you say. Although your boyfriend listening right now is like, no, show your <laughs> He's mouth. He's going to be so pissed. He's going to be like, what the fuck are you saying? <laughs> He's going to be so pissed. Okay, so, like, um there's one my boyfriend has this friend that was visiting, and I just, like, don't fuck with her. I think she's shady um they like used to have a little bit of a thing and i don't like her like, <laughs> i, don't I like feel the like situation. that's totally okay though and like every girl's like gonna situation. agree with you yeah i don't like the situation uh sketchy uh something i had to deal with it's better now but i didn't fucking like it <laughs> and yeah, it's i uncomfortable. was like, like who wants their boyfriend's like 
ex-hookup around. Like, no one wants that. Yeah, no, I didn't like it. So I had to, but I had to put up with it. And so I was like, if I'm going to be here, I need a little drink. Um, so I, I need got some, me some drinks. Got me some spritz. And I was like, do I have another one? And I just know he was trying to keep me happy. He was like, yeah, you're not driving. Like, who cares? I'm like, you're so right. I'm not driving. I have no responsibility. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> I'm like, I have no responsibility whatsoever. I have no reason to, yeah. Why Give me not? my silly little drink. Give it to me. <laughs> um. So like, but I uh, just an excuse to get tan. Yeah. Got a nice tan on. Mm-hmm. Great. Um. Crazy. And then like a few days later, another body was pulled out of that river. And yeah, I dude. Was no, ju- we can't I talk was, about that. Okay, but I was just in the river. I know. But Anyways, we also, yeah, no crazy so stay safe out there stay safe tonight so i went paddleboarding it wasn't anything too excited there's not really much to say about it um and then i came home and took a nap which i never do but we had so much time and i was so tired yeah so i was like maybe an hour nap maybe and then i sent jonah to get me makeup wipes and a celsius and i drank my celsius and i was ready to rally to go out and i was like totally like sober now like it really just felt like four days in one and then i went to west which is so weird because like i don't go there very often yeah but it was fun it was a good vibe it's a good way to change up your weekend yeah something different different something different, different street fun. of bars um and it was funny because that night was a cooler night in terms of like whether i could wear my hair down and not die and west is overall cooler weather wise yeah yeah cooler than east those backyards at east yeah. are saunas like uh-huh. they trap Cause it's sardines in, the heat. in there there's sardines and they just trap and there's the heat. food trucks in there too yeah they're hot it's so hot back there on west like it was way cooler like my hair was down and i was maybe fine. we need to go to west this weekend i was totally fine and the people from out of town were like it's so hot i'm like i hate to break it to you this is a cool night yeah i'm this breezy, my hair's down right now easy breezy beautiful like i'm not even sweating this is yeah. this is easy not to mention like, you're wearing my whole wardrobe literally <laughs> literally literally guys i gave taylor so we cleaned up both cleaned out our closets last weekend or last week and i had like a few things that i gave you the rest of it i just donated because i was like i literally just like don't feel like going through this right now and i need to toss three bags of clothes into things to donate but i gave her some stuff in all weekend bathing suits dresses shirts she wore my whole wardrobe <laughs> yeah because i was having to pack a bag for like two days and it was all like right there like it was right yeah, in front of my face. Easy. And I was like, okay, two bathing suits, a dress. Here, perfect. perfect. <laughs> That's what I'm wearing. I got so many compliments on that dress. You did? Yeah, I posted it. I wish like you could have worn it. It's so cute. I posted it. Yeah, it is really cute. Yeah. I posted a TikTok in it, and the search is like summer dress. Like the search is about the dress. Really? Every comment's like, what's this dress? Speaking of the TikTok search bar, <laughs> that shit can call you out, bro. Like, I literally don't understand how like it, that generates the shit it generates. But some of the stuff I'm like... I was just scrolling on like a happy old video of mine on TikTok and the search engine is Sam Taylor drama. I'm like, what the fuck does this mean? You fucking people. Like I'm literally just talking about like my espresso martini and y'all are saying Sam Taylor drama. Like get out of my face. Don't call me out like that. Get out of my face. But yeah. Um, um, so I went to West and had a pretty, no, not an early night. I got home at like one. Oh shit. We were like vibing and then we went across the street and we almost went into another bar and we had to be up at, we had to be at the, pregame for a boat at 9 30 oh hell no so we were home at 11 we were in line for the other bar and then it was like on second thought maybe we go home and yeah. i was like correct yes happy you thought that way get me out of here and then yeah. i went home what do you do on friday um friday was the day where i went shopping shopping you did you want a little day yeah guys you i had so much day. fun um little soft I brought launches s- too. I know little soft launches here and there, which you guys are really starting to catch on. It's scaring me. But um yeah, so I told you guys last week, Sneaky Link, like his style is just not there. Like it's 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 pretty bad. So I was like, let's go shopping. Like I would love to go shopping. He's like, all right, let's go thrifting. So I found a bunch of places in Austin to go thrifting. We just kinda like a lot of them are on the same road. So I parked somewhere and then we were just walking down the road and on we were, South Lamar? No, um Guada Guadalupe Gu- Guadalupe Street <laughs> um so we went thrifting there we got a lot of good stuff um I actually stumbled upon one of you guys that was visiting from Dallas cool. and she comes up to me and she's like oh my god Sam and I'm like yeah and then Sneaky Link heard and then Sneaky Link like ran away <laughs> I was like I was like yeah good job like oh look. I met someone on Friday I was too. like skirt away get out of here <laughs> I met someone on West too yeah. but um yeah I didn't even like I like acted well I was like I acted like by, by myself I was like yeah like just thrifting you know with some friends and then like i found him again because i like lost him because he was hiding and i was like yeah like 
was like, we got to keep it low key. We can't be getting called out right now. <laughs> but yeah, so we went um, thrifting, got him some good things. And then I went back to his. Well, we came back to my place first because I bought stuff to make Aperol spritz for home. And I was like, you know what? I want to get a little buzz going. Like a good buzz when like a Friday night, like you're not doing anything. Just the two of you, like there's nothing better. So I was like, I want to make one. And we're, then we went back to his place because he wanted me to like look at his shorts because we were like, we might need to order you some shorts online. He's like, no, I got good shorts. I'm like, I don't believe you have good shorts, but we'll go look. So I brought Mac with me too, and mm-hmm. the three of us had a slumber party. Me, Mac, and so cute. Um, I almost just said his name, Sneaky Link. Had a slumber party, and he was doing like a little try on, like modeling walk back and forth from his <laughs> bed, like showing off all his outfits and stuff. And yeah, and then we ended up going to bed and waking up the next day to rally for our saturday fun day (laughs) yeah i had quite the saturday fun day i went on a boat on lake austin which oh my god we fed we got picked up right under the 360 bridge okay you have to pay five dollars a person cash to get through like the gate to get to the boat interesting um i'm sorry who carries cash yeah who does that thank god that other marina down in lake travis yeah thank god a person though it's per a vehicle yeah five dollars per person that's so crazy. They're, they're making cash. Dude, Luckily, a few I people had twenties and do that. Yeah, a few people had twenties on them, so like it worked, and we could just Venmo each other. But we were like, "Bro, yeah, what? what the fuck? Um, crazy, so lame." I just thought that was weird. And the boat started off so tame. I was like, "I'm not gonna drink a lot because we're ha- we're going out at night, and I just don't want to." Oh. But your Snapchat stories, I was like, oh, this girl's getting fucked up. But the vibes were, like, so floor. I didn't even drink that much. I was a little hungry. I was yeah. a little hungry. So that that did it. Um, Oh, my God. Coolest thing, speaking of food, a guy on a jet ski. Dude, I saw that. I saw um, your boyfriend's stories. Selling sandwiches. Yeah. I thought, like, he knew the man, but then I put no. two and two together that that guy was literally just had a cooler and was, like, He was shit. selling sandwiches, half a pound of brisket for 20 bucks. So That's like, crazy. You can get, like, two sandwiches for, like, 20 bucks selling it and i was like this is genius yeah so many people bought because hello drunk hungry people in the sun dude does um miami have that like at least up north we have that we have like people that will like turn their boats into like restaurants i don't think and like know. drive around and like sell shit well this guy was I'm just, like that would be clever to do here he was just on his jet ski and i was like how many like you make good money off of this like you do well and he was like in a day like sometimes i could do like 500 yeah i'm like shit good for you dog that's crazy but he's like then it depends like if i have jet ski problems like it's a whole like yeah it's a whole thing but i'm like that's fucking sick so that's just cool shout out to the guy on like austin that sells brisket sandwiches you ate brisket and pulled pork that's pretty cool but i was hungry and i ate pickles on bread yeah there you go (laughs) he was like how many buns do you want i was like get two because i wanted to just like literally eat the bread (laughs) because i needed food um but we they had little shooters which I don't like that you call them shooters. Little nips. Yeah, they're and, called nips. And uh, Okay, no, hold on. I'm literally going to make a graphic on Instagram for this, and I'm going to say shooters or nips, what do you call it? And I want to see which ones. Yeah, I mean, it just depends. Like, I mean, I, it, nips was only a thing I ever got from you. Yeah, nips. Nips is so much better. But regardless, they had little nips, so I like a little fireball one, and then one of them was lime-flavored vodka. Oh, my God, it was so good. Ew, okay, that makes no, me sick No, it was so good. Stomach. It tasted like a lemon drop. Lime vodka? Tasted like a lemon drop. Okay. It was good. Like, it genuinely was good. And then these random dudes from the boat next to us came over with a cooler, like a kind of like a Gatorade That one. sounds so sketch. Yeah, but it wasn't. And like, <laughs> where, like where you push the thing and like the water comes out. Like oh, my Gatorade God. That cooler. even sounds way worse. And so that you were drinking out of the cooler, <laughs> like bear cooler. <laughs> that's fucking disgusting. <laughs> it's like, that's like, like worse than someone coming over with like a twee bag. I mean, they were like sketchy. Like they were like. It wasn't sketchy. Like yeah. it wasn't like they were like roofing us. Which speaking of, um, so we just, speaking of twisted teas, was there ever a situation where I was complete- twisted tea? What are you talking about twisted tea? Oh, the bags. Yeah, just like okay. in general. No, this just like came to mind. The other day, was there ever a scenario where we were all talking about alcohol and I was talking about how I absolutely hate twisted teas because Sneaky Link, when we were talking yes. about getting alcohol somewhere, he was like. He was like, oh, should I buy you a pack of Twisted Teas? Like, fucking with me? And I'm like, how did you know I hated I like those so twisted much? Twisted Teas. Yeah, but how did he know I hated those so much? I'm like, I feel like I only said that on the podcast. I feel like you might have said it in real life. Did I? Oh, like, I wouldn't oh my doubt God, it. does he listen to the podcast? Fuck. 
I wouldn't doubt that you said it in real life. But I like twisted teas. I don't know. I hate those. They taste so good. When you drink them, it's just pure sugar right on the lip or your teeth. Like I have like a sugar coating. That's how I feel about Smirnoff Ice. Yeah, well, those two. But who willingly drinks those? Me in high school. Yeah. If you're in high school, I guess. <laughs> it's like sugar and calories just don't fucking matter. Me in high school. But now I it's like if I have any sugary drink, I'm like the hangover is horrible. Yeah, I could do like I've had the only like one or like I've never even drank a full. Oh one. no, I like if you're drinking sips. a whole pack of them. Oh yeah, no. Nope. Um, but yeah, we had a lot of fun on the boat. Um, just hanging out, vibing, chilling at like the cove on Lake Austin. Yeah. Little lily pad, you know, fun vibes, cool vibes, basic vibes. Got off, got ready, and met all of our friends at a pregame. Yeah, which that pregame, um, it was for our friend's birthday. And originally, I was going into the intentions of like, oh, there's going to be a keg here. Because the boys said that they were going to buy a keg. But I told everyone there was going to be a yeah, keg. Yeah, dude. And so I'm like showing up, luckily, with alcohol. Like, I wasn't going to bring alcohol. because like, oh, I was like, I'm going to be a beer girl tonight. Fuck yeah. Like, beer girl to the max. And I was supposed to go to like a pool party during the day. But I just told myself, I'm like, you know what, Sam? No, don't do it. Like, I want you to be like coherent enough for your friend's birthday event. So... We're not going to go to the party. So I just laid back, tanned all day out front. And then around like three o'clock, I got ready because the pregame started at like six. Um, and then went over to the pregame. Get there. No fucking keg. I'm yep. like, what? I was like, you guys are lucky. I showed up with an espresso martini on the rocks and some canned wine. Because if I didn't, I don't know what the fuck I would be drinking. See, right I didn't bring alcohol. Like, well, one, I thought there was going to be keg. But the main reason we didn't bring alcohol is I was convinced we weren't like Staying I long? was not drinking at that pregame. Oh, I was convinced. I was like, we don't need, like, the thought of bringing alcohol was, like, not a thing. I'm like, we already literally drank. Like, we just, just didn't need to bring the alcohol. The pregame didn't need to drink it. But then I really started hitting the wall. Yeah. And Haley this was, was like, Hel- like, you can have a white claw. I was like, yeah. Yeah, this was the one. <laughs> this was the first yeah, time that. in, like, three weeks where every single one of our friends in that group chat was there. Mm-hmm. So our group chat, it's called Trip Balls because, um, the reason we're all friends is because of some edibles that happened and our friends and Taylor screamed and was like, Oh my God, are they going to trip balls? And then ever since then that just stuck and that's the group chat name. But, um, so there's like, I think 19 of us in that group chat now. Is there? Or 20 now. Yeah. 20. There's 20 of us in that group chat. Wow. I know. And so all, everyone in that group chat was there besides one and a lot of outside people. So there was probably around like, 30, 40 people there. There was a good amount of people there. I, with you, we went into like a room for something and I came yeah. back out and, and it was it packed. It like tripled in size. Yeah. So I'm trying to get our, our friend group to be more comfortable in front of the camera. So especially on TikTok, cause like I find it so fun, like making TikToks with them because not because of like content reasons, but because of memories. Like I want to look back like three years from now and like look at that TikTok we did the other night and be like, oh my God, like remember this night? This was yeah. so much fun. And also it's like, yeah, our TikToks have, like, people following them, and it's, like, more of a big deal. But if I didn't, I would make the TikTok anyways. Anyway, exactly. Do you so know that's what I mean? Why like, I, I would make that TikTok on just my, like, regular personal page. Yeah. So I want them to get more comfortable with it, and I told all of them that. I'm like, here, guys, we're going to do this one. And then after that, like, from weeks coming, like, I want to be, like, at the bar doing, like, really funny drunk ones. Like, you know the one, the audio, it's like, how much do I owe you? Oh, so I like, saved that like, to do. With, I want to um, be able Jonah. to do that with like our guy friends. And like, I need to get them to be comfortable in front of the camera. So I'm like, we're going to start small and then we're going to work up to the big things. Yeah. So, I saved that one to do with Jonah. So we did the, the TikTok, and you probably saw it on my page of like, I'm, I'm Sam. And I think Taylor is going to get the drunkest. So all of us did it. And I posted it, whatever. And sneaky link was actually in it. So if you guys want to go watch it, it's fucking hilarious. Go watch it. And, that was fun. But after we came out of the room from that, it was packed. And um, everyone was saying I was going to get the drunkest in that video. I think probably like 70% of the people I'd that say went. I'd did. Yeah, but okay, so that's but that's why I got so drunk. Oh. No, I'm dude, I'm not even kidding. Like, I looked at, I think, Haley or Jeannie, one of them. And I go, guys, everyone keeps saying me, but now I feel like I have to be the drunkest. Not the peer pressure. No, like, literally, it was so bad. I was like... Fuck it. We're getting fucked up. So I go back out there and I grab one of the canned um, wines and I crack it open. These things are 10%. The fact and I that you chugged were doing, it. No, no, no. I need everyone to go to Sam's TikTok and watch us trying the whipped cream. <laughs> I don't know if you saw my comment on it. I did. You're pouring like that's a, how many servings are in that? Two. Okay. 
Yeah, that's it was fair. I put but half it just, of it. It just seemed funny because it's like a martini and like to just pour like a cup full of martini is yeah, just it's two funny. Servings. Like it's just funny. Like it I just know. was like a funny like now I'm going to have an espresso martini in a cup. Like yeah. not like not a two ounce a martini. If you're unfamiliar with alcohol, it's normally like two ounces of, of alcohol, a little amount of alcohol. So it's just funny that in the video, it's a cup full of martini. It just made me like, it just looked really funny. It made me laugh. No. Yeah. It definitely. I, when you commented, I was like, yeah, you're so right. People probably think this is like a it's fucking just, handle. Yeah, it's funny. Like it's just uh, like a martini yeah. in, a, in a glass. <laughs> yeah. I tried to be good and pour half of it because it's two servings. So I was like, here we go. Um, but yeah, so I had a canned wine and after that, like we were leaving for the pregame. So the pregame was from six to nine. We make sure to get to Latchkey by like nine thirty because the line gets so long. We left at nine, and like uh, from there on, I hardly remember much. Not much happened really. Oh, bro, I'm I missing a food. big part of the fucking night. That I pissed got me off. Food at Latchkey, yeah, because dude. you did at yes. the food truck. Mm-hmm. I did not notice that. We were starving because we had we had a long day. Yeah, and um, I think before. So many of the days of the weekend are mush- meshed up in my brain. Okay, I don't think we ate before. And I was like, we can get food at yeah. Latchkey. Yeah. And I was like, we'll just do that. Easy peasy. Um, And yeah, we did that. It's cheap, too. Yeah, no, it is cheap. We had it that one time like a few months ago. Yeah, because sometimes... It's good, but it's not like my favorite. No, but it gets it's not my favorite. Done. It gets a job done. Because sometimes what happens is I'm like, oh, let's order food before we go out. And before you know it, you spend like 40 bucks on Uber Eats. Because it'll add up with all the fees. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, rather than f- trying to Uber Eats something before we leave, we could just grab food when we get to Latchkey. Yeah. If we're in a pinch. No, that makes sense. Yeah, so I, I grabbed food. Yeah, I did not even notice that. But, yeah. <laughs> guys, okay, we need to talk because I have been, like, obviously with Sneaky Link hanging out with him. Like, he's, like, we're basically, like, fucking dating. There's just no label. That's your man. And, like, I don't know what to do, Taylor. Like, I even need advice for you on this. Is like, like, how the fuck do I, like, have that conversation? And how do I, like, move forward? Like, you've already had the conversation. I just No, think not even, like, I haven't brought in the words up, like, boyfriend to him like i i brought up like okay we're on the same page we're seeing where things go but it's like now it's literally come to the point where we hang out during the week like slumber parties during the week mac is sleeping in the same like we're literally like i girlfriend but not the label i don't think during summer he will call you his girlfriend i know that's what i think too I think that's like gonna I'd be like an, a late august problem yeah. or even just an august problem i feel like july is like balls to the walls and then maybe after that like yeah maybe but i wouldn't stress that too much like i my last like whole entire three-year relationship started without a label on it yeah okay and here's the thing too is like if i can if he doesn't ask me to be his girlfriend until like august that gives me so much time to be so nitpicky on what i want within the relationship like manipulating it in terms of like okay like you act this way but like i don't like that and if you want me like you need to act so here's an example so this past weekend guys um i've made it very clear to him i'm very like independent i'm very like i like to do my own thing like i'm not gonna stop doing what i want to do like for somebody else like you can add into my life and not take away like literally i've like have said that to him speaking of our last episode was all about that yes so last episode give it a listen and so this is like a prime example of last episode on like what to do because we even talked about this at the end of the episode is like so we were at the pregame. He ends up showing up. We didn't go to the pregame together this past weekend. We sh- went differently. I went with a bunch of girlfriends, and he went with a bunch of guy friends. We showed up at different times. I had already been there for, like, 30 minutes before. He shows up, and I'm, like, having a go- grand old time, talking to everyone, mingling, whatever. He shows up. I didn't even realize him come in, and then I kind of, like, locked eyes with him for a second, and he did not come up to me for, like, probably, like, 20 minutes to say hi. And I'm, like, and then I look at Taylor, and I'm, like, Taylor, what the fuck? Like, he hasn't even said hi to me. Like, we were literally, like, I woke up in his bed this morning. This is so fucking weird. Like, what's going on? And so then I pulled him whatever. We said hi. We were talking. And I was like, oh, so, like, you didn't want to say hi to me? And he was like, what do you mean? Like, I don't know what you're talking about. Like, blah, blah, blah. Like, was being, like, super apologetic. And he ends up saying, he was like, he's like, I just, I, I know you said you want to, like, do your own thing. And, like, you, like, you, you like just being, like, alone and doing your own mm-hmm. thing. But I was like, no, like, I don't mean it like that. Like, I mean it in the sense of, like, if I have plans, like, I'm doing my plans. But, like, 
if you're showing up to the same pregame as me, like, say hi to me. Like, don't ignore me. Yeah, like, you, he doesn't have to follow you around like yeah. a puppy dog. Like, I think that's what he thought, like, was going to... F- I think that's what he thought I thought it was going to feel like if he came right to me like a puppy dog. But, like, no, like, I like that, that you can do that. Come right up to me, say hi, but don't ignore me. Yeah, he doesn't have to follow you around. Like, we go outside to take pictures, like, follow you, like, yeah, your every exactly. step right behind you. So, yeah, that was, like, something that um, I dealt with. And then the next morning, I was, like, so, I was, like, so I was like I'm still pissed at you. And he was, like, let's go get food, like, like let's go get food let's talk about it so then we had like a whole conversation about it and like i literally like now i know like he's gonna be like good about it like he's gonna say hi like i fixed the issue but like i just know till august like if or any time like no fucking timeline but like i just know like these little small things like that i want in a relationship like i could manipulate and get what i want yeah it's definitely like with like the early parts of a relationship too for me like my big thing is like seeing how like problems are handled because like i feel like that says a lot about a person like how they do they get angry Mm -hmm. like do they and like recently like like nothing extreme but just like relationship problems occurred like you know it's just like it's almost three months now it's out of the like yeah he like one month of dating it's like okay like now i've been dating for a little bit and like and i literally told him i was like remember when we started dating and i was like you could never bother me i was like nothing you do bothers me like now now i gotta listen now i'm like literally you drive me Stop up a wall. fucking breathing. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Um, but it's like, things are like handled really easily. Like, like they have not caused like fights, which I'm like, to me, that's just the biggest green flag. Like things are just talked about and they're not like a fight. Yeah. Which is so, so nice to just be able to communicate properly. So that's nice. Yeah, that is good. Um, And then, yeah, my night was like, boring on saturday other than the fact that when sam got dropped off in an uber she had no idea where she Dude, was and i had to I was go on a so hunt in our neighborhood to find her and sneaky link drunk confused not sure where our house is because our neighborhood like low-key the streets are confusing yeah they're so confusing in every house the streets are confusing the same. before we lived here for a while i was like if an uber came like a different if we came in our neighborhood another direction I was like, where mm-hmm. the fuck where the fuck are we like i did not know yeah so our neighborhood's a little bit confusing if you've not if you're not used to it uh mind you sam lives here but He's you know under <laughs> okay just put so like i've said a million times sneaky link is the boy version of me so picture me fucking hammered and then him also fucking hammered getting dropped off it was only 11 30 <laughs> but we were plastered wait i get out of the thing and all i remember is just like the world was spinning and whatever side of the street that I got dropped off on, I was like, that's not my house. And I just walked the opposite way. You were way. very, very close. Um, but you did walk far the opposite way. So when I got up, you know, comfy in bed, got up, put my shoes on, went for a little walk, uh, found them, retrieved them, got them home safely. Oh, yeah, great. And then I get inside and I immediately get the spins. I'm like, fuck. And when I get the spins, like, I need to go into fetal position. I am laying down curled up in a ball, in a blanket, on the ground. Like, I'm not laying in my bed because I don't know what it is when I'm, like, in the spins. Like, I can't lay in my I've bed. I've never got the spins. Dude, I hate the spins. They suck. But anyways, I get the <laughs> spins. I'm laying on the ground. And I'm I'm propping my head up on something. So, for me, that was my little, like, ottoman thing in my closet. And sometimes it's the toilet. Yeah. Sometimes it is the toilet, which is gross. But um, it happens. Um, so, I'm in fetal position. And then Stinky Link, I just know, is fucking shoving me pushing me around like sam wake up come on wake up i'm not like i'm like screaming i'm like stop it like i got the spins like leave me alone and i kept screaming i'm like get out of here leave 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 so he actually leaves because he's like oh she's pissing me how dare like how dare he leave when i tell him to leave like no don't leave doesn't he know that leave means stay Stay? but just don't touch me don't fucking touch me so whatever um I, i wake up in my closet and it's like two in the morning, whatever. So I wake up in my closet and I go just crawling into my bed. And then I wake up at like 9 a.m. And I'm like, what the fuck happened last night? Like, I literally don't remember yeah. anything. Yeah, and you're like, no, like he left. I was like, you you did tell him to leave. Yeah, I did leave. I did tell I him to leave. I definitely did hear that. Yeah. So <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> yeah, because then I called him the next morning. I'm like, what the hell? Like, because he was like, oh, like, 
jokingly he was like oh were you expecting me to be in your bed like when you woke up like were you sad like were you upset i was like yeah i was so upset i woke up like i turned over and you weren't there i was like where the fuck did you go and he was like you told me to leave and i was like i don't remember that i'm so sorry like next time say but also at the same time if i'm in fetal position do not fucking touch me like i am staying there and i am staying until the spins go away or i fall asleep and then in the middle of the night when i wake up and spins are gone i will go to my bed but for now don't touch me so yeah he learned an two valuable lessons last this past weekend say hi to me when you see me at a bar or a pregame and don't touch me when i'm in fetal position good yeah train him well slowly slowly learning train him well i love it (laughs) um my sunday my new sunday thing is pickleball pickleball is so fun and it's a sport that i can actually do and like not be horrible at it's really easy it's so easy and my boyfriend's apartment has courts, so we literally just played for like an hour, and an hour will get you in the yeah. sun. We do like two games. Oh my god, mm-hmm. done, toasted, sweaty, and it just feels so good to get like that little extra movement in. And then we hung out in the pool all day, and we're just like laughing and talking and having a good time, and having a great really fun. date. Yeah, just like fun. Yeah fun fun time fun wholesome time yeah which i surprisingly wasn't hung over like at all the next morning i don't know if that's because i got back at 11 30 and was asleep by midnight and i got like nine hours of sleep so that's probably a wa- why i wasn't hung over i had a little bit of a headache so i popped some advil but then like i said S- sneaky link picked me up for some brunch he apologized to me for his Where'd actions you go? cisco's right yeah super good but Definitely, like, I'm more of, like, a texture eater when it comes to tacos. Are you not? You like crunch? Like, I like a mix of mush crunch. I love it all. Like, I love a lot. Were they mush? They were mush. And so, okay, so a few weeks ago, we brought them to this place called Veracruz for some tacos. Veracruz tacos got a lot of texture, a lot of taste, a lot of crunch. Yeah, they got chips in there. They got chips in them. Oh. So then they were like, oh, like this place stinks. Like it's so expensive compared to Cisco's. So I'm like, all right, whatever. Bring me to Cisco's one day. So this past weekend we went to Cisco's and we got the egg and chorizo taco, which is the same as the Cisco's one, but it was just pure mush. And I'm like, at least with like the Veracruz one, like it is just egg and chorizo, but there's a little bit of texture to it. It was just pure mush. And I was like, yeah. I was like, I'm not the biggest fan of this one um so yeah, some tacos are like that and especially some it's just kind of like it's almost like just like refried bean kind of yeah like that's what it was tortilla. yeah it literally refried bean in a in a, a shell. yeah i don't hate that but like the chips and the tacos man really yeah those do it for it me. elevates it yeah so we went there and we got some food they didn't have coffee which i thought was weird but then they came back and they were like we have hot coffee we can pour on ice i'm like yeah give it to me I was like, give it to me i need it Ew. so yeah we did that, and then he has a cold plunge. So we did a cold plunge mid-afternoon in the boiling heat in his backyard. And a few of our friends came over, and we were all just hanging out doing a cold plunge. And then after that, we went inside because the sun is obviously killer. And we watched a bunch of movies, did some Uber Eats, and then went sh- to Trader Joe's and got s- some food to cook. And we cooked together like a married couple. And he dropped me off, and I went home and went to bed. Yeah, I ended up sleeping over there on Sunday because I was like, I'm going home. Which I was shocked by. I was like, I'm going home. Like, I'm going home. Yeah, you, what, three of the Uh, Normally every weekend we, like, live together. Yeah, but, like, that was a lot. I know, but this weekend, too, it's a four-day, like. Dude, not even. Dude, Sneaky Link has Monday and Tuesday off. Soda, yeah, soda, yeah. So it's five days. Five days, yeah, I told him I'm going to, like. It's gonna be crazy. I sent him like a meme of this I girl. Love this girl like evil laughing with fire. I was like, Friday, Tuesday, you're never getting rid of me. <laughs> but that's why I haven't seen him during this week. Yeah. Like I'm like, leave me alone. Yeah, I wasn't gonna sleep over, but I was like, we ordered food and it was already kind of late because we stayed in the pool till late because the sun doesn't go down. It's not completely dark until like nine. Yeah. So we stayed in the pool for a while. Then I, by the time we showered and stuff, I was like, dude, I don't want to go home. And he's like, so don't. <laughs> I was like, like obviously he wants you to stay, like, but because he was like falling asleep, yeah. and I was like, you, and I was awake though, like I was down to stay later, but he was like falling asleep. I was like, you're going to bed. Mm-hmm. I, was, like, I was like, I don't want to leave. Like I just didn't want to. He said, just stay. I was like, fair. Good night. <laughs> yeah, I hung out with <laughs> Sneaky Link last night at his place, like on a fucking Tuesday, and even like with that, he was like, oh, like stay. I'm like, no. 
I knew I'm not staying. Yeah, the thing is that makes me like a little bit more inclined to s- the sleepovers when it's like a work. D- I, I like like a school night. Yeah, <laughs> I still like to call it a school night when Literally. it's a school night. Is because he has to go to work. I will be back home by nine because he has to go to work. And yeah. If, if it was the possibility, like I'm gonna sleep over and we can just shoot the shit till one p.m. Yeah, that, but the thing is, that makes like, me like less motivated to go. But it's like if I'm gonna get up and going, like then I have to get up. See, and, like, I think the opposite on it. Like last night when I wanted to sleep over, I knew he had to be up at six forty-five, and I was like, "But if I sleep in my own bed, I sleep. can sleep in because we yeah. stay up late, like talking to each other. So yeah. like I don't go to bed until like super late, and then we gotta wake up at six forty-five. Like nah, I just really like sleeping in a bed with a person dude we we cuddle oh my god i'm just so calling him out right now <laughs> you cuddle the whole night the whole night the That's whole night crazy. every single see like he loves to cuddle it's you so fall fun. asleep cuddling yes. wake up cuddling yes that's crazy i love it we wake up back to each other on opposite sides of the bed that's crazy i cannot no, I lo- he loves cuddling. i don't fall asleep cuddling like really i guess maybe Oh my god! I love like putting my che- like head on his chest. And, like, no, I'm a big <laughs> little spoon. Uh, oh my god! But he loves being little spoon. Ew! <laughs> <laughs> Ew! The call out. Stop. <laughs> the call out. Not like like rarely. Like I can't. I won't. Like yeah. I only do it when I want attention. Like if he's still you know sleeping, when you like I'm like wake up, give me attention. But I know he he boys are big old babies. Dude, we also like hold hands too while we're cuddling. And you sleep like that? <laughs> Not the hand holding. <laughs> <laughs> but like when we're watching a movie, like like we'll be cuddling, but then we also do like this. We're just like Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like we're just like doing this the whole time. Like Yeah, then you like rub your thumb like your thumb like this. Yeah. <laughs> but no, what I was gonna say is like what are you ever like when you're cuddling like with him on the couch, like he'll sit up straight and then you put your head on his lap? Yeah. So last night he decided do to do too? the other way around. Okay, see, I was like, "What the fuck is see, this?" See, I like it when you're like, when I said like he wants to be those food, and you're like, "Ill, like, give it, give it a second. Take a while. No. Boys take a while to be a sim. Yeah, no, like you put it's his- not very often. Well, it's like he like or when you're laying down, like they put anytime they like put their head on you. Yeah, I'm just. I'm oh like, no, he did that a lot. I'm literally yesterday. always I was like, like what the fuck. I was like, I'm putting my head on you, not the other way around. I'm like, you're such a baby. And also, like, I'll like, I'll like tickle his head or like his, like, <laughs> le- his leg. And like, if I stop, he'll grab my arm and then start doing it to okay, himself. Mac. I know, literally. I called him Mac last night. I go, you're literally acting like fucking Mac right now. What is this? That's so funny. No, boys are like big old babies. See, but I like can't with. I can't be big spoon. Gross. They call it too. It's no. like a jetpack. That's Ew. what it's called. The jetpack. Ew. No. Like, and you're t- because I'm sm- smaller than him. That's then my, exactly. My face is in his back. That's like, what I tried to say. Like, my like, face my is literally being suffocated by your back that's right now. That's what I tried to get. That's what I tried to say. But he knows I only do it when I'm like looking for attention because sometimes he'll be sleeping. So I like. We'll grab him like, like a big bear. like, And then he wakes up. I'm like, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, switch. <laughs> like, yeah, he's no. like, yeah, he Dude, knows. I love cuddles. It's so fun. <laughs> yeah. It's my favorite activity. I don't get how people aren't like touch touchers. Yeah, but I'm so surprised. I thought you guys cuddled all through the night. I guess not. No. That's no. sweaty and nasty and uncomfortable. Well, the thing is, my r- at least my room gets, his room kind of gets hot. My, my room is freezing. Cold. Yeah. But if we wake up in the middle of the night, we'll like maybe like go back range, yeah but like i wake up facing we w- we wake up facing like yeah and if window. we ever like w- if we ever separate like go separate ways it's always him waking up in the middle of the night and like grabbing me and pulling <laughs> me in. <I'm> like <laughs> what a sip literally do you guys sleep on the same side of the bed in both beds um i do yeah I've, i think I've i have started to realize that we bed. do that yeah like i'm the right side of the bed if i'm laying on the bed i'm on the right yeah Wait, when you look at the bed or no, when, when, I, the when I'm laying on the bed, I'm on the right. Yeah, me too. Word. Word. Farthest from the door, too. Always. In my room, I'm closest to the door. Really? But oh, that's yeah. the side I sleep on in my, my room. My room setup is the same as his room setup. Oh. So I'm always farthest from the yeah, door. Yeah, I mean, I just sleep on that side. Like, I'm not going to. And yeah. sometimes if I'm, like, really drunk and when I wake up and I'm on the wrong side of the bed, I'm like, mm. what the fuck? I'm like, why am especially, I over here? <laughs> no, but especially, like, if. I always sleep on my side of the bed no matter where I am. Like, if I'm on vacation, another bed. Right, right. Because if you wake up thinking, like, you're not on vacation, you're just in your normal <laughs> bed because it's the middle of the, like, it's dark, 
and then like you start to get out and you're like wait hold on where's the bed end and you're on the wrong side i've never felt that <laughs> too when i went home this past week <laughs> where does the bed end <laughs> When I went home this past week, I slept in a friend's bed on mm. the wrong side of the bed, and I forgot I was on vacation, and, and I was in Boston. Crawled into him? <laughs> no, yeah, basically. I was like, oh wait, I have to get out of the bed this way to go pee in the middle of the night. It That's was so, so confusing. Funny. <laughs> no, I've never really felt that. But yeah, uh, comment down below on our Instagram or something. Do you cuddle all through the night? No, I'm gonna make graph. I'm gonna make graphics for this because we have a lot of questions we gotta ask. Yeah, for Monday's thing, it's gonna be a lot of graphic questions. Yeah, I'm not an all through the night cuddler, but I I am a cuddler, nonetheless. I'm yeah. a big PDA gal. Um, who? There's people that are always like stop like. Telling us, like, stop. Is it our friends or his friends? I think it's our friends. Stop what? Like, um, like making out or, like, being gross. I oh, dude, I is. can't wait until I can be, like, t- what is it? PDA. PDA. Or I just, love like, PDA. Like, not, like, full-on PDA, but just, like, I can't wait until he, like, wants to willingly kiss me in public. Because <laughs> we used to do that when we first started, like, hanging out. When it was, like. Oh, yeah. Dude, when I would be, like. Guys, this is so bad, but, like, I am, like, so, like, I am no filter whatsoever. But when me and Siggy, like, first started hanging out in, like, February and March, I would literally go up to him in the bar and be, like, I cannot wait to have sex later. <laughs> like, like very out loud, like, and everyone would hear it. Yeah. It or was, like, we would just start so making gross. out. But now it's, like, now it's, like, low-key, low-key. But not really. Like, we still, like, touch each other. Like, but we don't make out in public. Yeah. Um, I don't know. So crazy. I've been oh hooking up with him for five living. months. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> five fucking months. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, my God. Feelings? Who would have thought? Relationship time goes by so fast. I know. Especially when I went into the whole, like, sneaky link, like, situation being like, I'm never going to have. I'm picking him to be my sneaky link because I know I'll never get feelings for him. Yeah. And then look at me. I have feelings for him. What the? It's like by the end of summer, like uh, early October, we'll already been dating for like half a year. Yeah what like that's just like it goes so it goes fast fast. um anyways we should shut the fuck up yeah no also someone did a tiktok um i don't know if you saw because they tagged us in it and it was like she was doing like a come with me for my second to last shift um like as a nurse 12 hour shift and she was clocking every hour and then like at midnight she was like oh i'm listening to the f word podcast like it's literally my favorite uh, ever like podcast it gets me through my shifts and mm-hmm. i was like i commented i was like no fucking way like this made my entire day like and i wish i could give you way more episodes because like now mm-hmm. i when now when we record i think of the fact that there are girls listening to our podcast while they're at work trying to get through work and i'm like i want to provide like a 3 lo- <laughs> 3 hour long episode for them to get through work. Literally. Um, because I listen to my podcast and when they're over, you're like, fuck. Um, you fuck. Like, why is this over? So, like, literally. I don't know. Like, I really want to start pushing for, like, the hour and a half mark podcast episode. I love an hour and a half mark. Someone also ca- made a video being like, can you recommend a good podcast that's not self-help? I'm sick of listening to the same 10, like, songs. And I feel like every piece of advice in the world, like, I've heard. And people tagged us and we're like, like, they're literally, like, just girls chatting yeah. with some fitness mixed in. No, yeah, I love getting tagged in all these little... T- it just makes me, like, so motivated to come podcast and talk to y'all. But And yeah, it's also cool to see the perspective of where people are listening from. Yeah. Like, this girl's on, like, it's midnight, and she has a 12-hour shift, and she's listening to us? Like, yeah. That's crazy. And you know what's crazy, too? When I listen to, like, The Toast, they, d- they recap a lot of TV that they watch, and they can literally be talking about a show for 20 minutes. I've never seen the show. And listen. you feel like you, yeah, exactly. And you feel like you also have listened to it. I just, kind of, with like the way they talk. But I it. just like them and I like their show so they can be talking about something that I give negative two shits about. And you'll listen to I'll it. I'll listen. Yeah. I'd rather that be in there than the episode be short. Exactly. Me fucking too. I'd rather just hear. Yeah. Because sometimes there's something, like, sometimes it's a little bit funny. Or like, no. but, I don't know. I agree. I would just rather hear. 1,000 fucking percent. Yeah, but um, yeah. N- even next week's episode is gonna be so fucking long because we have a long weekend. It's Fourth of July. Different like, plans again. Different plans again, dude. And we're gonna I have to think record us doing different things is the key to the podcast. No, I don't think we literally. can hang out anymore. No, we can't. But also it makes me so, so <laughs> no, sad. No, we can't. Okay. Also, speaking of that, with this coming weekend, I uh, so we have a group chat now for the mansion, but 
like the mansion party thing. If you keep talking weekend? in that group chat um after the party, I'm gonna throw a hissy fit. <laughs> no. Anyways, crazy. so I told Sneaky Link, I'm like, Taylor's literally the only girlfriend that's not coming because all the other girlfriends are coming. And he was like, Are you gonna cry? I was like, I might. Oh, that makes me feel good. Yeah, dude. I was like, I literally might. Like, uh, he was like, Just try convincing her. I was like, I'll try my best, but I don't know if it will work. No. I know. I know it's not gonna work because I was. I was like, I, I bring it up to her every day. <laughs> she hasn't budged. No, I, I like don't even have FOMO. Guys, though, we're going to a mansion party and the tickets are a hundred dollars now. And it's the you early- don't even get. Free literally alcohol. anything but, but included to be fair there is a concert like there's a concert going on so it's like yeah but like that band plays live music at like bars i know that you can get in with no cover i know i'm just trying to justify I just, it yeah <laughs> it's just it's truly just not for me so yeah so i'm just i'm taking the i'm i'm just not going but yeah we got like at that party th- i got the pr- i got the early access tickets which we didn't realize early access tickets were going to sell out. So it was $65 for early access. And now it's $100 because the early access sold out. Which a few people did get the early access and a few people got the $100 ones. But anyways, Taylor's the only one not going. So me and her don't even have the same fourth plans. Well, and fourth I don't really plans. have fourth weekend plans. And here's the thing. I don't like doing shit for the sake of the fact that it's a holiday. Yeah. Like, fourth, I don't even really love Fourth of July because I'm just like not the most patriotic gal. Yeah. Um, Whatever. Um... And, like, I like 4th of July in the sense that what you do on 4th of July is typically go by pool, go on a boat. Yeah. That's a fun thing to do. You go by pool, go by a boat every single weekend. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So I don't feel like it's anything, like, special for me not be, like, having some crazy 4th plan because I have literally a plan on a boat. Like, for some people, yeah. the only time they're doing something like that this month is for the 4th. Yeah. I'm doing that literally every fucking day. So yeah, I so don't... But my boyfriend loves the 4th of July. He's literally like, I'm waking up at 4th of July at, like, 6 a.m. And, like, I play the national anthem. I'm, I'm like, not, oh, my God. Yeah, fucking <laughs> I'm, like, what? You're, I'm like, you're insane. For the actual 4th, which is on a Tuesday, I don't want to drink alcohol. I want to sit by a pool and do a barbecue. That's all I want to do. I want to be casual, doing nothing, relaxing because it's Tuesday because that following weekend, that Saturday is my birthday boat. And, like, I just yeah. know the next, starting Friday till next Saturday, so, like, uh, eight days Jonah going has to be a insane. really nice pool to have people at. We should. They're not very strict and it's huge. We should. You know, we can also like do... It's huge and they have like two different... They have like four different covered areas, like a fuck ton of chairs and it's a massive pool. Yeah. Grills? Yeah. I'm so down. It's huge. Yeah. Maybe then that way we can intertwine the friend groups of his friends and... They met g- some of... Um, oh, they did. Not that many like... Like, it was only the night when Dayton and, like, Haley were there. Oh. But that's when his friends were there. But, yeah, he has a really good pool for having people over. Word. I'm so with And it. there's pickleball. Yeah. There's so many things to do. It's a great place to have people I know. Over. It's yeah. nice. Which but, but speak yeah. so random. One last thing is I need to start doing pickleball. Like, I need to start, like, I need to set times in my week where I go and play. Sunday. Sundays are so hard. You want to you wanna go, like, be active, like, hungover. That's so hard. I We do it at, like, 3 p.m. Okay. Maybe. Like, we've already, like, given ourselves, like, okay. the morning. Okay. Well, any last time, time it was hard because I already was, like, doing plans. Yeah, well, Sunday. any time, like, if we, like, having the courts is, like, clutch. Like, they're literally, like, fair use, like, right there. Okay. I'm with it. Okay. All right. An he's, hour he's, later. He's going to be still listening to this of me just, like, inviting people to his apartment. I know. I'm like, yeah. Everyone An can. hour later, and we're going to get into the episode. Wouldn't you believe it? Yeah. <laughs> um. So, ten reasons... That you should get into exercise and start that workout routine that have nothing to do with losing weight, nothing to do with getting skinny, nothing to do with seeing physical body changes, because that's not something to rely on, especially like you never know what's going to happen in your life to make a bodily change. Like you can get hurt, you can like, like illnesses, you get pregnant, like Mm -hmm. things like change your body that are out of your control. So to put so much weight into how you look is just it's not really a place to put your self-worth yeah and honestly like it is the sad truth though that is like where like 90 percent of people come from when they are getting a yeah. gym membership getting into the gym but yeah yeah we'll look into other outlooks on it because i never realized any of these great benefits probably for like a year and a half two yeah. years into my like fitness journey when i started to realize all these other benefits that were coming along with working out in the gym yeah, and also working out for aesthetics and to look a certain way is totally fine. Yeah. Like, we definitely do that, too. Mm-hmm. Um, But it just can't be your one and only. Yeah. 
Um, so the first one is the most obvious one, and that's endorphin release, meaning you are literally releasing chemicals in your brain that make you happier. So any sort of mood issues that you have, it is just literally science that getting up and getting moving literally just like releases happiness into your brain, which is insane that there's like not like a cure because like for those like when you struggle with mental health like it's not like all day lasting or it's not like it stays all the time but it gives you that little like boost that you need and yeah it's something to definitely take advantage of yeah and I feel like everyone kind of will even say on social media like the gym's my therapy like this blah 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 my therapy like which it really is like a lot of people will go to the gym and like clear their mind from a workout like even like runners like people will get runners high like they literally just like it's very therapeutic to get yourself into the gym putting on some music just kind of like letting go of anything else that's around you i personally do that when i have yeah. my bad days if like i'm on my period and i'm pissy or i'm mad i'm like i just need to get to the gym because it literally clears my mind so well so yeah that's like obviously the most important yeah because exercise is also kind of meditative because mm -hmm. if you're pushing through a heavy set of squats your mind can't think about anything else yeah same thing as like when i go to dance like if i look back on i just went to dance yesterday we were learning such a hard combo i literally like no, no other thought was in my brain yeah like nothing it was only that hour focused on what i was doing um so yeah just releasing those endorphins and just clearing your head mm -hmm. so crucial if you are struggling with any sort of like if you just feel like you need that extra happiness, extra stress relief. Yeah. Um, number two is going to be build mental confidence. So this can come from like a few different ways is Taylor. You were saying how like, yeah, the, what was yours? Yeah. Like it's keeping promises that you make to yourself. Ed Milet said this on a podcast and it really stuck with me, even though I don't follow it very often. I do think about it very often. Um, that confidence is keeping the promises you make to yourself and trusting yourself. Like, for example, if you had a friend that you were telling to do something and they never did it, you wouldn't have com like you wouldn't have trust in that person. You wouldn't be confident in that friendship. The same way if you tell yourself, I have X, Y, Z workout routine. If you never do it, you won't have that confidence in yourself. You wouldn't have that trust in yourself. So s that is like just a reason to build a workout routine and stick to it. Whether it's yeah. one day a week, two days a week, doing what you say that you're going to do for yourself. Yeah. And I feel like even even though we said like in the beginning of this is like these are 10 reasons for an outlook that don't really have anything to do with your like looks per se but like your inner confidence as well like yes appearance wise but like just I feel like I appreciated my body more if that makes sense when I started to work out like I appreciated more my like strength yes my, like you're more, those you're more you know confident. What I'm saying? <laughs> you're more confident in your ability. Yeah, and you're more confident in yourself to get through something hard. Yes, exactly. Even if hard in terms of being confident enough to finish a hard movement, and also confident in the fact that you did showing up to the gym is hard. Going mm -hmm. to a new gym is hard. Trying a new workout class is hard. Confident in yourself that you can show up and do that. Yeah. Like it just it just makes you a tougher person because getting into the gym is very, very hard and a very vulnerable thing to do um, in so many different ways. So just the fact that you show up for yourself and do it, I feel like you just get a lot of like personal confidence in yourself yeah. to be able to handle hard things within like now which we've been working up for like now three years is like my confidence as a person three years ago, like in social settings yes. with like speaking up my like my voicing my opinion like was very minimal back then and now like i'm very much can voice my opinion i have more of a social life like i don't care as much of what other people think and yes the gym plays a huge role with that yeah especially like i don't care to try something new in front of a whole room of people i don't care to look ugly in front of a whole room of people mm -hmm. i don't care to like do something wrong in front of a whole room of people yeah like, i can do stuff like that in front of a large group and i have confidence in myself in that exactly shake ass on a picnic table on the weekend fuck yeah would fuck i have done yeah. that three or four years ago probably not <laughs> literally everything comes back to shaking ass on no, the picnic table literally it's truly like life's greatest it's joy it really is uh the next thing it's gonna get everything literally moving through you better yeah everything is gonna move through you better better digestion your metabolism's gonna speed up Let's say you want to start going for walks 
a little post meal walk get that digestion going little digestion walk dude i love those those are my fave i bring back on a little walkie walk literally and like if you have issues like you can literally see for yourself if you're like constipated like going on a walk will will make you take a shit yeah it's like you'll see it real life happen yeah and there's nothing worse than feeling like bloated and gross not Mm. in a looks way and like a my stomach hurts like that is like the worst feeling when you need to fucking take a shit you can't (laughs) like that's the worst when i first like before i even got into the gym my thing was i was always like for anyone new here and doesn't know this um taylor and i both come from a background of like under eating um and then slowly working into like over exercise with under eating and before all that like my digestion my gut like i would flare up from like the smallest little thing and like i would hard i thought i was eating like all whole foods like i would literally eat like a salad with like not much on it for food but it's like yeah in the moment you think that's like healthy and whatnot but like i wasn't really working out i was just doing a lot of cardio because i was a college athlete and then now three four years later like my digestion is like I have a stomach of steel. Is that the word, the, the quote you use? Stomach uh, of steel, right? Yeah, I guess. Something along those lines. Whereas like I don't get affected as much by like certain foods and like flare up and get bloated or get gassy because now my metabolism, my gut is so happy with the way I'm treating it. Um, now if you, I'm just going to put like some, not like science behind it, but like facts behind it is like the more muscle mass you have on your body, um, the more calories your body will burn at rest, which will also allow you for have a um, better metabolism, faster metabolism. So you're going to be able to eat more throughout your journey of exercise. So like when I first started working out, I was eating probably like 1200 calories, nothing. Now I eat like around like 2000, like 2200 calories, like which I don't track anymore. But it's like over time, I've been able to eat more food and not yeah. flare up. Yeah, like who I was doesn't always fucking bloated. Who doesn't love to be able to eat more comfortably? Yeah, literally. You get to eat more comfortably, which is huge. And yeah, I don't know the last time I got like un- painfully like bloated or yeah. yeah. See, I can't really remember. And it used to be literally every day. Um, now definitely over exercising can cause this too. Mm-hmm. So this is definitely keep that routine nice and kind on your body. Because exactly. if you over exercise, you will feel the exact opposite. But exercise in general if you're living that sedentary lifestyle trust me like going for regular walks will help everything everything go did you mention how like it literally mac needs to walk to poop like it's literally like yeah an no, like, like, like mac literally, literally, literally like, needs to go on a walk mac needs to go on a walk to poop like if if i take him outside just to the front yard and i expect him to go to the bathroom he's not going to go to the bathroom like he needs to go on a loop <laughs> yeah literally um this one is like kind of for most of our girlies listening being able to like be strong enough to do shit without a man there's like really cool feeling behind like do you need me to carry that no no i got it i got it i literally got it when i started working out i couldn't move the 45 pound plates in the gym Mm -hmm. i couldn't move the bar the bar in my little college gym was kind of just up against the wall and you could take it and move it i tried to move it and put from up in a corner of a room to laying on the floor where I wanted it to deadlift, mm. I couldn't fucking move it. Yeah. I couldn't pick it up off the ground and move it around. 45 pounds. It was, like, attacking me. And now being able to know that I can move something like that freely, I can pick that up and walk with it five miles if I had to. Like, I can move that. Yeah. I can put it over my head. I can lift it and put it over my shoulders with ease. And before, I literally struggled so hard to move it and, like, would need help. It is so just good to know that you are more than fucking capable. Like yeah. we moved into this house, like we can move the boxes, we can build things, we can like we are strong enough to do it. And it's a really good feeling. And then the other point you brought up is like literally for safety. Yeah, like I feel like safety things are really important. Like you never know whatever predicament you could be in. Like not to live life in fear, but I think it is really good for every human. To know how to do a push up, to know how to do a pull up, like the basic things for like survival reasons. Cause you never know. What if you're hanging off the side of a fucking building one day and you need to pull yourself up? Literally. Like another realistic example is like if you're on a boat and you're going on the back of the boat to go pee and you need to pull yourself back up, like are you gonna be able to pull yourself back up? No. Like, why do you wanna have to ask a guy, like, hey, like help me pull me up? Like, no, pull yourself back up. Like, I think it's like, along with just being like a girl being able to do your own things but also safety reasons like it's good to 
be strong, be able to do like the basics for your body and be like, not necessarily like, I would say more like along the words of like athletic because I feel like push up pull ups like that's more like an athletic thing to like know how to do, but just like being able to like have more things under your belt for safety reasons is always good. Or cardiovascular health, you know, like you don't want to be the last one in a like what if there's a zombie apocalypse yeah like you need to run run, bitch bitch. (laughs) like literally you just you got to be able to like don't live in fear like but i'm no i'm just saying i picture myself if you guys have ever heard me say on here i want to go on survivor so bad i want to do survivor so bad that is just like on my life bucket list of an activity is to fucking go on survivor um and i know i could carry my weight in those challenges Mm -hmm. like i could pick up things and move things and sometimes i see when i'm watching obviously typically if there's like parts of it where there's like one part of the challenge is moving something heavy like the guys on the team are gonna do it because you know you're gonna try to get faster quicker there are some times where i watch i'm like i think i'm stronger than that dude yeah yeah i'm like i'm just like let's be real like and i think like i want like i feel like if i was saying i'd be like no i want to do the carry part like yeah i can fucking pick that up like easy peasy i'm yeah. probably better than like that dude like i don't know just like that feeling of being like i'm i'm like, i might be literally the better capable option. like yeah. i'm literally capable and i'm strong enough yeah exactly just feels good carry all the groceries in in one trip you know oh <laughs> hell yeah um then number five guys is your sense of community huge huge like huge if you're feeling alone or just feeling like you maybe work a nine to five from home and you have no fucking social encounters all day i bet you i best believe if i was working a nine to five no social encounters all day my favorite part of the day is gonna be going to the gym even if i don't talk to anyone right now no yeah even if i don't talk to anyone all day and at the gym, like just being in the present surrounding of like other people, like working towards the same type of thing, like there's no better feeling. Than no that. better feeling. And there's a community for everything. There's hot girl walk groups. There's dance classes. There's Pilates. There's yoga. There's there's like the gym community. The like gym the community, which uh, this even um made me think because we have the best gym community like ever. Yeah. Um, and I made a video TikTok. I actually thought it was pretty funny. I was pretty proud of myself for the idea. The audio is like, on one side, perfection. On the other side, perfection. And I did it with me doing three different poses. And I was like, me hyping myself up after a thing. Like, it was just funny. And someone commented, imagine you're trying to work out and someone's doing this. Dude, our gym would never, like, our gym would be like, fuck yeah, you look great. I literally want to comment. I literally pose. And then Daniel, the owner's like, you look you look great t like good job or like they're whoever. reposting it well you put it on tiktok yeah right? they but if it was on instagram it. they would repost it they're reposting it people are like oh my god you look great someone will always be like oh my god sorry for getting in your shot like and then i'm like no please like oh i'm god. in your way like we're so please. fucking grumpy like everyone is so happy to watch other people be better yeah now look there's cringy ass shit people be filming in the gym but you let know? them do them. But taking a picture, filming an exercise, so normal. And literally all I ever get is like hype for it. Because the our mirror is right where all the staff where you check in. So I'll literally be like doing something and then I go to like I finish and like someone tells me like, Oh my god, you look great, blah blah blah. And not to mention we go to a gym where a lot of people are bodybuilders. So standing in front of the mirror and posing is quite literally part of their like they're like workout split is but naked. <laughs> literally, you got men like pulling their shorts up posing. I see their ass crack and they are posing <laughs> cheeked up, double cheeked up. Literally. Um, like they put high heels on. It's a whole thing to pose in front of the mirror. It's so normal. So I just know like that person, I'm like, you need some like gym community in your life. Because that's not what people in my gym think. Yeah, you need to respond back to they, that comment on TikTok. They literally, I was going to make a video talking. You should. Um, they put that mirror there mm. because people needed bigger mirrors for literally taking pictures in it. Yeah. That is why that mirror is there. Yeah. That is the literal so- sole purpose of that mirror. It's not like another mirror in a gym that you're. it's in front of the equipment to like watch yourself. There's literally always someone... Um, no, like that mirror. that mirror is for a picture. I bet if I went to the gym and I was like, Daniel, what is that mirror for? 
that pictures. That mirror is for Instagram our selfies. bodybuilders and so, bikini girls. Teen yeah, children. tangent. But the reason of that tangent is just like the supportive community. Mm-hmm. It's really, really nice that it, just to feel like you have people that have your back and are like rooting for you. And it's nice to hear. It's nice to just like have people that have your back. Yeah. And make you feel a part of something. It's really nice. Uh, the next one is working out obviously strengthens your muscles, but it also strengthens your bones. It like decreases your risk of osteoporosis, meaning it's just going to be harder for you to break a bone um, as you get older. It's like that's why you hear like, you know, you get older, you fall, you break something. When if you're younger, you fall, you get back up. But as you're older, your bones get weaker and exercising will directly combat that yeah and, and keep your bones strong and that's why you see so many like older people like not in like like re like rehab like strength stuff but like like exercising like if they haven't been like yes. exercising like later like early on that's why like a lot of the times like they get recommended to do those things later on yeah like so my, that it my grandmother does like little exercises there was a guy always at the la fitness that i went to at home that would always literally just do um around because in one section was all the machines that were like the like the cable loaded machines like the plate loaded Mm -hmm. machines like just like chest fly shoulder press with the thing like those kind of machines and he would literally just do like the rounds i feel like at every commercial gym that's there's always that one elderly i think that's what i will do as an elderly person no same literally like two sets of 10 on every machine yeah because it keeps you like doing the motions yeah like which is great i think i think that's genuinely going to be me as an old person well, unless same. i can unless i still get dude there's unless an, i can get under the bench still at like 70 dude if i'm benching to play it at like 70 please no there's an elderly person at my home gym that's literally like she would deadlift next to me period and i'm like and i one time i had a conversation with her and she has like grandkids and stuff i'm like i'm trying to get it like you literally my guy. and she's like i'm trying to get it like you my girl i'm like nah 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 like stop yeah don't hit me up like that like, but <laughs> But strengthening your bones, like, is really, really so important. It's very self-explanatory. Like, that's just going to prevent you from having a fall at 50 and yeah. breaking a hip a hip or knee. when that's, like, Shoulder. young to be doing that. You know, you just want to prolong that. And bone health is exactly. very important. Um, number seven, better sleep, natural energy, and less stress. Okay? All of these go hand in hand. Um we obviously know, like, at least for me, I don't like to work out really early in the morning. But if I get an early ass workout in the morning, like, my, I'm so level headed, clear minded. My natural energy for the whole mm-hmm. day is like spot on if I have like an early ass morning workout. Um, but yeah, overall, na- more natural energy. We always love that, feel great from it, and less stress. Yeah. Um, now, obviously, the natural energy too is also because your sleeping better like if you sleep better you have more natural energy if you like it all it all goes hand in hand i'm trying to look up that goes hand in hand like the less stress you have on your body and your mind the better you're gonna be able to sleep and the better you're gonna be able to sleep the better natural energy you're gonna have throughout the day so keep that stress on a1 and guess what you're gonna have good sleep you're gonna have good workouts you're gonna have good natural energy throughout the day yeah, and I have really good sleep. Um, my dance classes are later at night, so I'll do cardio like around like eight, and right after I'm kind of awake because it, it wakes me up, and I have a little bit more energy after that. But oh my god, give me like two to three hours, I sleep like a rock. Like I sleep so good when I do cardio later in the day. It's crazy. Yeah, like I sleep literally like a rock. I mean, it's I've the never. Best. I, I mean, I guess I. I guess I kind of feel that in the sense of when I was like an athlete and all my games were at like 7 p.m. and I'd come home and just fucking pass out. But like I haven't I haven't really worked out I, that late. Of an hour I realized years. I like a, a later in the day cardio sesh fucking hits for yeah. me when I used to work at um it was kind of like a Orange Theory berries type. Um, I guess now that I've done berries, it was way closer to berries than Orange Theory. It was just like berries. Mm-hmm. Um. And when I'd work there, I could go take the class, but I wouldn't do the weights part. I would just go on the treadmill. Yeah. And I would do the treadmill, and I'd get off work at, like, 7 or something, and I would do the treadmill, and, oh, my God, just, like, that nighttime cardio fucking hit for me. Damn. It would it just puts me to sleep so good. I love that for you. Tuck you in like a baby. Literally. <laughs> really does. Uh, number eight. 
Um, lowers your risks of so many things like cancers, diabetes, heart disease, you name it. And mm-hmm. I feel like this is just obviously like self-explanatory. And obviously. I don't personally want to get in, into it because I don't know the yeah, I'm not a doctor, actual science. But I'm not a doctor. But cardio exercise, obviously yeah. it's called cardio because it is for your cardiovascular yeah. health. It's literally for your heart health. Diabetes, um, that can go hand in hand with weight loss. Um, but it's kind of just like a reason to lose weight besides looks or a reason to just to get healthy is to... Um, prevent diabetes not to mention diabetes too uh can also be like reversible like there's health yeah. conditions that are reversible that you can come back from maybe you have like high blood pressure i don't know so many things that you can really like totally do a 180 mm-hmm. and get in check just through just through exercise and nothing better than just like lowering lowering the risk Risks. you want to prevent that you want to be around for kids great grandkids all exactly. that exactly um, this next one, sweating, um, which I wanted to add in here because obviously you work out, you sweat. Sweating can give you glowing skin. When you sweat, my skin feels so much better when I sweat a lot because you are literally pushing shit out of your pores. The sweat's coming out of your pores. So whatever's in your pores, you're getting out. Not to mention you're also getting out some things within your body. You know, if you're like us drinking a little too much on the weekends, uh, your body sweat is one of your ways of getting shit out. So that is why if you drink and then you sweat, you will literally smell like alcohol because it's straight up coming out of you. So you're getting shit out of your body, but you're getting shit out of your skin, out of your pores. And then also sweating is just going to keep you more moisturized. You know, my yeah. skin, it doesn't feel as dry because it's getting that moisture. So your body will just be glowing and your pores will be a little more emptied. Yeah. If you sweat. Agreed. Love that. Mm-hmm. Everyone loves better looking skin. Um, number 10, Taylor thought it would be funny to put this on there. <laughs> I mean, funny, but important. Yeah, but I mean, it is. Okay. So better sex life, baby. All right. And Hell yeah. I feel like this comes from so many different directions, but so many main reason like that was put on there is because of obviously like your mobility, your flexibility. When I first started working out, I couldn't fucking touch my toes. Guess who can touch her toes now? Me. Period. I can. <laughs> better sex life flexibility we your get more splits up <laughs> more fun in the fucking sheets baby. um your cardiovascular health like hello like yeah i'm trying to be like winded in dude a second. i fucking Let's had to tell real. sneaky link like you need to go on runs bro guess who goes on runs now once a week oh my god you got him whipped sneaky link goes on runs once a week now <laughs> uh working out will also increase your libido too <laughs> Um, obviously, this is also touchy because over-exercising and being underweight, especially as a woman, will will decrease Reset. your libido. So healthy amount of exercise, y'all. Because if en- with any of this, if you turn any of this into over-exercising, now you fucked it up. Yeah. This is <laughs> reason to get a healthy amount of exercise. Increase that, lib- increase that libido. You don't want to be like having like no sex drive. Um, and I could be wrong, so don't quote me on this because I'm not a fucking doctor. Um, I think that's because like you're increasing like your testosterone, right? What? When you like lift weights and gain muscle, are you not? No, you're I not don't. like increasing your testosterone if you gain weight. If you lift when weights. you gain weight, when you lift weights, I don't think no? so. Let me do fact check. Because I'm pretty sure when guy like at least I know for guys, the more they work out, the lower their test gets, and that's why they need to hop on test. But I could be wrong. Okay, weight training is one of the most effective ways to naturally elevate testosterone in both males and females. Oh, okay. And I think if you have higher t- testosterone... Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Women also produce so much of testosterone and it... Hardly, though. Fuck. And it appears that boosting testosterone levels in females improves their sex drive and well-being. Weight training is one of the most effective ways to naturally elevate testosterone levels in both males and females. Hopefully females don't take this to mean they will suddenly get all hairy and grow beard just because they hit the iron a few times a week. But um, it's it's no, slight elevation. To hop on a yeah, no, it's like survive. slight elevation. Like you're not like becoming a dude. It's like yeah. slight. slight. Um, so yeah, better sex drive. That's always fun. Keep your relationship better. Yeah. That's so healthy for a relationship. But yeah, I think it was funny that because we were just like doing a little research before this and it literally said like better sex life for flexibility. I'm like, that's so funny. Yeah. Yeah. Like do handstands and shit. Go crazy. Dude, literally like 
go wild. <laughs> like, do it's a it's a fucking circus. Like, in what there. if your man like couldn't like pick you up? Oh Ooh. no, no. Because it's like we're not like light frail little girls. No, you know, like no. we're not like five foot ninety pounds. Yeah. So like. And then they'll whip me around. Yeah. Like, you know when it was a thing that 135 challenge? Yeah. Like, curl it, press it, squat it. Yeah. It's like, okay, that's me. Yeah. You best be no, able. No, I made a TikTok about that. You and best some be people able. didn't understand that. Like, I made, like, a TikTok and was like, oh, like, the one, like, like, when I see him, like, tossing around 135, like, in the gym, like, oh, damn, oh, damn, like. And it turned basically saying it turns me on. Some guys didn't understand that, but I'm like being dead ass. Like if I see a guy throwing around 135, like that's crazy. Yeah, I don't find it like crazy. I find it like bare minimum. No, yeah, definitely bare min. But like I'm just like I think about it. I'm like that. We that bar is me. We have to test this with what? Bring the I boys. Don't know. I don't know if my man could do it. I never seen it. I'm not saying yeah. he can't. I'm yeah. just saying I've never. Yeah. I've never seen it, so I'm gonna need physical. Let's proof. do the 135 challenge. I'm almost there. Yeah. I can't curl it. Yeah. Or shoulder press it, but I could bench it and I can squat it. I was going to say something else about sex, but now I forget. I love talking about sex. Yeah, me too. What the fuck was it? Oh, someone asked me. So I, I can't answer a lot of these like really juicy questions on Snapchat because my mom has me on on Snapchat and my brothers. Mm. Um, but someone asked me and they were like, are you a giver or a receiver in the bed? Receiver. <laughs> yeah but like also i was wondering i'm like do they mean like giver as in like i'm doing the work yes okay they, i think i'm definitely a receiver but i also like no i guess i'm a receiver i'm literally a dead fish. I, I always like i always um what's the word i'm looking for like manipulated is like oh yeah i'm i'm giving to you right now but i'm also giving to myself because i'm also like i enjoy this if that makes sense no giver being like are you always, like, giving head and, like, being on top? Yeah, okay, I guess. Then, like, that's a giver. Yeah. But I like being on top when he's doing the work. Oh, my God, yeah, so true. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> um what was I going to say? I just can't do it the whole time. I get tired. Yeah. No. <laughs> I'm just a girl. <laughs> yeah, I'm just a girl. <laughs> I'm just a girl. Oh, I get I'll tired. Go, I'll just forget what we said earlier. <laughs> I'm just a girl. I get tired. Um... But what was I going to say? No, I'm definitely a receiver, but I'm trying to work on being better to be a little bit more like, just like better. Yeah. Be a little bit more well-rounded. Yeah, me too. I, I want to listen to more because I listen to Sex with Emily. She does a good podcast. It's very high up on the charts. You've probably heard of it. No, but she, I want to listen to it. Okay. Well, she is a podcast, but I've never really listened to hers. I've only listened to her on other people's. So I'm like, maybe I should listen to her own show considering yeah, I like when she's it. on other people's because I just want to like like be a better girlfriend yeah you know 100 percent. you don't know want them getting bored I'm, of you. I'm not a girlfriend yet but like i, I agree <laughs> maybe you know maybe that will make him fall in love yes yeah you just go nuts and then i joke and i say things that are like just like speaking of that are like me i same. say things that are so out of pocket i'm like i'm gonna do this like out of pocket and he's like yo i'm like look you want me to be you want me to be crazier and then you want to tell me that i'm out of pocket and be like be careful what you wish for be careful what you wish for because i'm about to come in here and go nuts selfie um but yeah we put that sex one at the end because we knew we would like talk about random shit and wanted to give us time to go off we should have another like sex therapist in the podcast yeah we should maybe sex with emily i was actually thinking that we should go back to guests not yeah. often not all the not time. often not often but just like yeah we kind of took a break from that just because like we kind of like it's hard to think about things to talk about just the two of us that are like valuable uh-huh like because i agree we are just like we're just here for vibes we're here for vibes so i feel like maybe every now and then every now and then throw a someone good someone good though like only someone like worth it but i feel like maybe we should but i want to do guests that we can swap with Mm -hmm. like i want to do a guest that we can also go on theirs yeah i agree if you guys have any like um actually no every time we ask you guys for guests y'all say the same people no offense but you do <laughs> yeah <laughs> no, let's, no let's get away from like the fitness industry influencers and let's go more geared towards like specific like specialists and shit 
specific specialist and like someone more so in the industry like we had shelby on yeah someone like a her yeah like a like, like a that i don't need someone that just isn't sponsored athlete for a bunch of brands i just if they've ever gone to alpha land we don't want um, <laughs> i'm good thank you though <laughs> i'm good thanks though thank you <laughs> next <laughs> thanks though um but yeah i think guests could be fun oh god i'm so happy we're out of that fucking injury. i know like when i got the thing like are you going to summer shredding i was like Bleh. You would have to literally, like, kidnap me and drag me by my hair. Yeah. <laughs> like, <sighs> did you just put that lip gloss, like, in your mouth? No. <laughs> well, like that. <laughs> that was scary. Okay. You know what? I don't like, like, I feel like ending this podcast is, like, you hang up. No, you no, hang like, up. No, like, I don't want to hang no, up. No, like, you hang up. No, you hang Bro, up. Bro, I literally don't want to hang up. Like, it makes me so sad. I know. Like, I can I sit on here and just, like open tiktok and tell you guys like my yeah opinions. we could literally like just like if oh, we wanted to like talk just f- just to talk talk the shit like i would totally do that me too yeah so well, i need like a patreon what did what were you gonna say that like i could literally just sit here open my tiktok and give y'all all my opinion on every single thing i see and like trends why no literally <laughs> we need a patreon so we can talk dude shit you know what i wish we could have on the fucking podcast is brianna chicken fry and grace o'malley but i know they can't because of their fucking barstool contracts and it makes me so upset. they can't do other podcasts nope. and That's if they can they have to get like paid out like bought out they can't even be a guest on other shows well a lot of the shows that they're guests on is already a part of but barstool. they can't go on other shows it that has to barstool? be within barstool That's lame. Yeah, it's just how their contract is. And if it's not, like, it has to, like, I don't know, their contract is, like, so, that's like, so weird. They were talking about it on another podcast, and I was like, I'm not even going to bother asking. Yeah, but that's so bizarre. I, I know. know. That's. Same that's so with, weird. um, what's her name? Drew. That's so weird. Yeah, some people just have weird ass contracts. Yeah, and like, can't go Dear on Media shows. and Podcast One aren't like that. Yeah. Well, yeah, this is, like, I don't know. I feel like. Yeah, I don't know. Couldn't tell you. Yeah. It's weird. Weird, weird. Okay, well, I guess we'll leave. Yeah. <laughs> because it's been like fucking two hours. An hour and 37 minutes. Fuck yeah. Well, okay. I hope all you people listening at work, this got you through work for a while. Literally, shout out to the girl that's a nurse. That yeah, I know you really motivated me to speak a lot today. Yeah. Okay. Bye, guys. Bye.